Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. Today we are going to be decorating for spring. So I just did a good deep clean and like cleaned up all of my winter decor and everything is just kind of empty, clean slate, ready to go. And I just can't wait to get everything like back to being decorated. I'm gonna show you what I have, what we're gonna work with today. So here's everything that I have up here. Now, I know that this is a lot. Like when you look at it, you're like, whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Um, it is a lot. I will not end up using it all, but what I like to do is bring up stairs, like all the decor that I have basically that would fit with what I'm doing. And then that way I can kind of pick and choose, grab and pull as I'm decorating. Um, it's just easy for me and I like to see it all together too to see if it coordinates I guess I'm so weird but um, for winter I had used these uh, dark green pillows these light blue pillows and these um, navy pillows and then these pink pillows I had one in my office and one in my bedroom so I just pulled those out just in case I wanted to use them so I have these like green and pink and coral kind of tropical pillows that I usually use and I was going to use those again this year. However, I really wanted like some bigger pillows to sit on this couch because it's really big and the, the like little 18 inch pillows looked really small to me. So I was like kind of hoping to do a layering effect. And when I went to look for coordinating pillows, I just can't find anything. I can't find anything in like a green and pink coral type of like color scheme that's not like 100% tropical. And I don't really do like tropical decor much. I had these pillows that I really loved and I tried to decorate with them or whatever, but I never wanted to go full palm trees and flamingos and sun hats and whatever it is that they're like selling right now. Um, that's not my style at all. So since I was having such a hard time coordinating with these pillows. I thought, why am I trying so hard for these pillows? So I gave it up. I went to Home Goods, um, looking for coordinating pillows for that, but I didn't find them. So instead I found these, I'll show you these like blue, um, pillows with they're like white and pinks and purples and blues. I just, I don't know. I fell in love with these and the colors they're a lot to take in as an individual pillow. Like I would never be able to just do like just a pattern like that. I have to break it up with some solids, but I just loved all the colors in them and it felt very springy. So I thought, okay, I think I could work with this and actually get some stuff that coordinates with blues and greens and navies and these pinks and purples and whites, whatever. There's a lot of colors in there. I should be able to do it. And as you can see, my other pillows go with it. So that worked out good. Um, the rest of this stuff is like candles. Most of the stuff I already had. I just did a spring shop with me. So like the new stuff is in here, like those cane candle holders and that green candle. I ended up returning the coral candle because I'm switching my color scheme, of course. Uh, but I always use these um, candlestick holders. I've had that thing for years. And same thing with that. all of these things I've had forever, I feel like. Um, and then it's all old florals that I've had. This little clock is actually my mom's. Um, they gave it to me years ago when they moved and I just like found it in the basement and I thought maybe I would try to add it to the mantle or something. Um, but it's all stuff that I already had. That one was new from my shop with me. And I did find this when I went to return my candle, I found this picture and I just thought this was so pretty um, and it went really well. And I'm obsessed with watercolor cause I, like I paint in watercolor and this was so pretty to me and I really liked the light wood so I went ahead and got that and then again it's just more florals again all of it I already had so that is what we are working with so let's get started okay guys we're gonna go ahead and start with the couch today if you have been following me for a little while you know that this is a brand new couch so this is really the first time I'm decorating this couch and this is a couch from ikea and it came with these lumbar pillows that are in the middle and you'll see i'm going to pull them off in just a minute just because they look like crazy to have all these pillows on the couch i didn't end up liking the way it looked 
but I'm just gonna be playing with basically all the decor today. You're gonna see me change things around five million times. I hope it doesn't irritate you, but I really just was like trying to figure out exactly how I liked everything. And since this is kind of a new um, color scheme and new decor for me, new like living room layout, new furniture, things like that. It's just taking me a little bit more time and effort to kind of figure out exactly how I like things. And if you stay tuned to the end, you're going to see everything all put together, the final look. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So I hope you stay and watch that because I think you'll like it too. So now I'm going to go ahead and move over to this little side chair. I have this like white and blue blanket. I always have a throw blanket on this chair. It serves two purposes. I sit over here and I do my work and have my morning coffee, but also it hides a couple of the stains on my white chair. So that, you know, is double duty. And then now I'm going to go ahead and mess with this little side table for a minute and then go ahead and move over to the fireplace. You guys, this fireplace was just giving me the hardest time. I got this new artwork. I told you about that in the beginning and I really, really wanted this to go on my fireplace. I knew that. I also knew that I wanted these white flowers to go over here and I always put these two pictures of my kids on the fireplace and like trying to get it all to work together was just proving so difficult for me and I kept stepping back, looking at it, stepping back, looking at it and I switched it 500 times, but I'm really, really happy with how it ended up turning out. I didn't show you all the changing just because it probably would have driven you crazy, but I did the same thing on my fireplace. I just kept switching everything around. I originally was trying to put this little throw blanket over here, but then it just felt too like heavy and wintry, so I opted just for a pillow. If you've been following me, you know that we have a bunch of golf equipment, so um, part of my decor is just like hiding things and that's what I'm doing with like both this little mercury jar container and that basket of clubs. So the mercury jar actually holds golf balls. So I just throw some flowers in there and nobody knows. It looks pretty like it's supposed to be there, but really it's serving an actual function. I do this stuff all around my house. Um, so, you know, that's part of the reason I decorate the way I do is just hiding things. It's real life people. This is how things go. We have junk everywhere. It is never fully picked up and cleaned up, even though I wish it were, but that's just life. So now I'm moving over to our coffee table. The only thing I'm doing over here is just putting a little flower arrangement. Uh, we actually use this tray for drinks and things, so I don't want to clutter it up too much. So now I'm moving over to this little half wall. This divides our dining room and our living room. So I like to put a little bit of decor over here. I almost always, no, I pretty much always use this little um, 10 vase. I got it like, I don't know, 12 years ago or something from Pottery Barn and I just, I really love it. Um, so I'm just adding some flowers to it and just trying to make a pretty arrangement that I like. And then I always put a couple of pictures over here of my kids and you'll see in just a minute, I'll put both the frames over here, but I kind of want to just like make things a little bit more simple over here this year. Um, during my winter decor, I had just this vase and flowers and then like a little glass house um, and a candle. And I loved the way that felt. So I kind of want to go for the same feel again during like spring summer. So you see here, I just like put it down to one picture frame and I'll use the other one elsewhere. And then now I'm going to move over to my desk. So this is 
like a desk and a hutch. It's antique. They don't actually go together. I've told you guys this a few times, but I got the desk and the hutch separate. So that's why it doesn't exactly like fit. <laughs> I am actually planning on um, painting this desk soon. I just have to decide the color I want. I haven't quite figured it out, but it needs redone. So um, be for sure to follow my channel and hit notification bell so that you don't miss it because it should be a fun project. And I'm also going to reupholster that desk chair that is sitting there. So um, the reason I really love this hutch is it serves multiple purposes. It does hold things like our masks and like cat treats and um, thank you notes and bills and whatever, like a whole bunch of things are hidden in this desk, but then also it gives me a place to decorate in my dining room. So that is what I do. Most people have like a traditional hutch or uh, like a, I guess they're called sideboards or whatever. I don't have room for that in my house. So this is what works for me. And so right now I'm just throwing up a couple of little flowers and knickknacks and trying to make it look pretty. So I shared this little pink and white basket in my spring um, shop with me and a haul, but I always have a little basket on top of my fridge. Again, I'm just decorating a space that I actually am trying to hide some storage on. So it ends up just looking like I mean for all those things to be up there. And then I'm just throwing this flower arrangement onto my dining room table. I shared this also in my spring decor haul, but I'm just adding a couple of little um, sprigs of like a flower arrangement that I had gotten um, and I actually used it in my winter decor, uh, but it goes. So I just poked a couple of those in there just to fill out the flower arrangement. And then I am going to switch out our fruit bowl. So we have had this like ceramic one for ages and it is just really worn out. You can't see it here, but we really needed a new one.
Okay guys, that is it for this spring decorate with me. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of motivation and maybe a few ideas for your own home. If you like these kind of videos, please leave a thumbs up so that I know to keep creating content like this and be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell because I'm always posting new videos. There's always new things to see. I have quite a few home projects coming up and I always have home motivation for you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I appreciate you so much and I will see you in my next video.